I'm Al McGee with your entertainment ticket at www.yeticket.com. Your entertainment ticket. Hey, I'm a film critic. I'm going to talk about a film right now called Anthropod. What? What are you talking about? What I'm talking about? World War II. This is another film about World War II, but this is a little known fact, or this is a film where they haven't done a lot of films about this particular incident that happened in Europe. This happened in Czechoslovakia uh, around 1942. Well, let me back up to you a little history. Well, you know, the uh, European uh, Munich Agreement where the, what do they call, the European Allied Powers, including, you know, England and other European nations, they just let Hitler go into Czechoslovakia without a fight in 1938. And they wanted to appease the Germans at that time because they was afraid he will take over Europe. But they said, well, let him have this one country without a fight and we won't do nothing about it. Ha, <laughs> well, we all know history, right? But there in Czechoslovakia, especially in Prague, they had uh, Reinhardt, Heydrich, Heydrich. Yeah, he was the third highest ranking member of the Nazi party and he was called the Butcher of Prague. They would just shoot people for any reason, slaughter them, cut them up, anything. Now Prague was very uh, important to the Germans because they had a lot of factories there and they wanted to build up you know, their mechanical uh, war machines there. So that's why Prague was important, but the people resisted, but they kept killing the people there. So they decided the powers to be to go in there and assassinate Reinhard Heydrich. Now this is where the story getting interesting. Now the fighters, John and Joseph, John played by uh, Jamie Dur Duran and uh, Joseph played by Cillian Murphy. Well, they parachute into Czechoslovakia near Prague and they uh, got together with another underground group to assassinate uh, Reinhardt. And Reinhardt was a, a terrible guy. I think I mentioned that again, but he was, well, all those Germans at the time was horrible. But anyway, now the first hour of the film, it might be a little slow for you, but I enjoyed it because it really set up the characters and I got to know them and many of the actors in it too, but also I got to feel the fear and the pressure of being occupied by Germans in that town. And I liked the ambition from the director, Sean Ellis, he also one of the screenwriters with Anthony Furren, where they researched and understood a lot, maybe what happened to these people who wanted to assassinate Reinhardt. And as they went on and things like that to set that up, and then of course, the last hour is the, the assassination, but also what happened to the, uh, the people who attempted to assassinate Reinhardt. If you know your history a little bit, you know what happened, I'm not gonna reveal it here. But this film kept me on the edge of my seat, and it's very sass uh, uh, fascinating with the screenwriters and also the setup also with the sets and the costumes and you know one thing i like too is still the people who lived in prague and czechoslovakia they still had ambitions what i mean by that well a couple met and they decided to get married i mean just think you've been occupied by german you 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 know that they're gonna try to kill somebody you love and know but you still want to try to move on with your life. You still believe in love. You still believe in marriage and things like that. You still believe you can have a career. We had a young man in there practicing his violin in, in, the, in the movie. Then the final scenes come. Some of the most dramatic uh, work I've seen before, but you might associate it with other stories. Maybe, but I enjoyed it. Anthropod, I'm giving this three palm trees out of four, 
It's a good movie. But see it for yourself. Let me know what do you think about Anthropod. Hey, I'm Al McGee. Thanks for watching me here at www.yeticket.com, your entertainment ticket. I really appreciate it. We are your entertainment ticket. That's right. Yeah, you too, you too. We are your entertainment ticket.